Welcome back. I am doing <laughs> some uh, Christmas inspired decorations. I know everybody is doing it and um, I guess it's the, it is the season. So what I have here are some wooden skewers and I'll be doing these, um, these are actually um, you get them in a pack with polystyrene balls so I just put some skewers in there and I'm going to be cutting them a little bit shorter because I don't I don't need them to be that long Let's see if I can break them there we go so I'm going to place them into a cup Mm, it's a little bit too... Oh, maybe it's okay. So, I'm going to find the center and just press it in. I'm sure you all know that. But for those of you who don't, see if it fits. Yep. And then I'll do the third one. So I'll only be doing three break it off, it actually is easier to break it off and push that into the the center as well okay, now you're probably wondering hmm, how are those going to stand up? well I have a whole heap of stones here these are actually just fish tank stones so I'm going to use some in the bottom of my cup And that will just give it some weight to hold them up straight, not let them fall over. Alright, so when I stand them up, the cup won't fall over, so it should be quite secure. Righty ho. And the colors I'm going to be using, let's just move that out of the way for now. Put you in there. Get you out of the way. So I'm just using a little disposable plate. And I'm going to use some photo green. So this is only the base coat. And some white. So I want to give it a, a nice, but decent base coat because they are polystyrene and um, as you can see these ones have little like little circular things on there which I don't mind I just want to actually try and seal it a bit and then I'm going to add red Oops. And I'll be painting each one of these. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint them very quickly. And once they're painted, you need to leave them to dry, which is going to take probably about a half an hour. So hopefully mine are going to look a little bit, um, a little bit Christmassy. Well, that's what we're expecting, right? So I'm making these as a gift because I'm going away for Christmas. Although you guys will still get some video footage um, while I'm away. 
because I will schedule videos. So I'm going to a beautiful beachy area <coughs> and I'm so happy to say that my family will all be there and um, I haven't seen my sister probably for about two years now. We all live in the same country in New Zealand but um, we do live quite far apart. So we're all meeting up at my daughter's house and um, whoops <laughs> guys what is my video without an oops <laughs> oh my word it's hilarious <laughs> if you watch my videos and you follow me they are often oops moments <laughs> crazy okay so now that we have that one covered hmm, we put that one in there to dry and this is the reason why I put the stones in is so that it has some weight and it doesn't tilt over okay so we put that one aside and then I'm going to carry on with the the yellow and the green. So this paint I'll use later on. So I'll speed this up and put some music to it. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. So I think these balls are, yep, they, they are dry. So I'm going to leave those in there for now. We've got green, red and white. And I have teeny little cups. So let's see. Okay, so to my red and my green, I've added some of this pouring, pouring medium in, so that should give it a little bit of a gloss, and it also makes it a little bit thicker. So let's go in with, we'll put red, some red in first. And then we have Vado Green. Let's just check if that's mixed in properly. Then we put some green in. And I'm going to add a little bit of white. And this here is my bloom recipe white. I don't want a lot of, of the white. And then I have a little bit of this gold here, which is actually yellow and gold it's a bit of a mixture hopefully it's got a little bit of a shimmer okay let's <coughs> let's see how this goes I'm just wondering maybe I put a little bit more red in there it seems to be an awful lot of paint in there. Okay, which one are we going to go on? Uh, let's do the green one first because the red one, I think I have another plan for the red one, so we'll just put those aside for now. 
And then I want to, actually I might just add a little bit of, no, I won't. Okay, so I'm going to do a ring pour on this one. Go slow. Okay, so that looks super cool. You guys can see that. And hopefully it won't run off too much. Try and get it to stand up in there. Probably not enough stones. I probably should have put more stones in there. But okay, maybe we can get it to stand like that on the side. Ooh, there's some little cells and things popping up there. Nice. I like that. Alright. Now... I don't mind actually too much that the red, there's a lot of red at the top here because the colours are mainly at the bottom and I'll show you once they're dry so I can turn them over and we're going to put little hanging doodads on them so they can be hung on the tree. Okay, so I still have red in here. Um, So I'll just go straight in with green. And then some gold. And I'm going to put some more white in there. Because that is the cell maker. And I'm going to go in with some silver. So I normally just tape the top because I lost the little top, the little lid thing. some silver uh, and I think there might be a little lump in there and to that I'm going to add some bright yellow So that is actually fluorescent yellow. Alright, um, should we use the red ball? Okay, let's do the red ball. So with that one, I'm just going to randomly pour on Trying to get all the sides uh, covered. Oh, I like that too. Huh. 
<laughs> that looks really Christmassy. Okay, so that one I'm going to leave there too. And I'll move that one out the way. I actually just want to stand that one up a bit better. Here we go. Oops, not. Not. <laughs> oh, guys. Here we go. So every time I try and move it, it runs around. I probably should have taped it on or something. But anyway, that's okay. It'll sit there. Right, so this one now is different. Okay, so this one I'm going to hold. Um, let's do it this way. So I'm going to put, I'll just put this leftover paint on here. Yeah, I thought there was a bit more than that and then I'm going to put a tiny bit of green I don't know if this is going to work guys let's take this thing out for now put the red Put some yellow. And then I'm going to give it a blow. Hmm. Okay, that didn't really work out very well. So I'll go in with more red. And green. No, not working, guys. So, plan Z. Stick the stick back in there. the whole way. Actually it looks really cool. Yeah, I've got a whole heap of paint left here. Let's see what happens if we do this. Just spin it around. So some of it over there is turning into mud. Yeah. 
and then I might just add I think that looks pretty cool Hmm, that's actually really given some nice effects. But I'm going to drizzle some red. Let's see if I can get that, get a bit of red onto the spoon. Kind of like a, a flip and lip. Yeah, that's cool. Well, bearing in mind that that part might end up being the bottom there okay we'll stick him in the cup okay guys um so these have all dried very nicely I made an oopsie there. Uh, they look really nice. So I think I'm going to hang them that way. So that's number one. I can take that out there now. Oh. <laughs> this one is number two. the way those came out. Uh, like that. And then this one here. I think this is the one that I rolled on what was left. The drippings. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I think that probably is my most favorite one. Alright, so I'm going to be taking that these off just easy like that. Ooh. Maybe that one wasn't so easy. Alright. So what we're left with, let me just mine these out of the way, are the holes where they went in. So that one's a little bit uneven. That one's pretty even. Come back. Uh, that one seems to be quite good. I love the way those, that one turned out like that. I really like that. It's like a Christmas pumpkin. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> here I have some strings. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to attach the string. If I attach that one there, is it going to be lopsided or not? Let's do this rather. I've got a hot glue gun. Oops. 
Okay, so I'm just going to put a teeny drop of the hot glue there. And I have some string. If I get the string to stand properly. Before it dries, I need to get that on. Most probably should have done it that way first, right? Holding that in place. Okay, so that's not too hot at the moment. So I'm just going to put an extra drop. Right. Now I'm going to use some of this. It's kind of like a disco-y color. And actually I made this mistake before. I'm going to use Mod Podge. <clears throat> Just put a little bit in here in a cup. Oops, a bit too much. Don't need that much. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of this. Looks like enough. I really like this one because it's um, sort of like holographic. Right. Then I have some gold. And gold, red and green for Christmas. I'll just add a little bit of gold because I wanted to have all the Christmas colors. Green and red. going to mix all of that together. Now when this dries, I'm sure you guys all know this, but for those of you who don't, it actually dries transparent. So on top of the balls, I want to go around just the top here where the string is and probably just, let's see, Just bring it in a little bit down. It's just adding some Christmas cheer. Some more Christmas cheer.
So I don't really want to overdo it. Just to give that a little bit of added extra interest there. And kind of just to cover up the string area. Okay, so we'll set that one side aside to dry. And then I'll do the other three off camera and I'll show you what they look like once they're dry. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. 